morning. All right, so I hit a thousand subscribers last night. I know y'all will have known that for probably a week because my weeks, my weeks, my videos are a week behind. That way I have time to edit and get a video out every day. If I didn't have that buffer, probably wouldn't make it every day. But uh, yeah, so I really appreciate anyone who hit the subscribe button. Anyway, we're starting off today with this Instacart. It is not the best order at all, but I'm, I'm impatient. I've been sitting around. I only saw one other order that I considered doing and it was not worth it. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this one. And of course it's going to one of the apartments. It's a pain in the ass to get into going on the third floor. My ankle's feeling better, but still not trying to lug a bunch of heavy shit around. All right, that Instacart didn't take me too long. 25 minutes to get to the store, get it checked out, get it shopped for, put in the car, all, you know, all the stuff you do with your groceries, just for someone else. But uh, yeah, what? Oh yeah, there was this one like Caribbean sauce they wanted. I never seen that shit before. I never even heard of the brand before. The person in the store was like, "Yeah, we had it, but I don't. But they hadn't seen it in a long time." So I, I did my due diligence to try to find the product, but. You know, I can't make miracles out here. All right, that Instacart wasn't too bad. Luckily, their apartment was in the building that the leasing office is in, so the door was not locked, and the girl was sitting at the desk at the leasing office told me where to go, because the, the, these new, ho like, it, it's, like, literally, I had to go through this random door to get into the hallway where all the apartments were, and if she wouldn't have pointed out, I would have had no idea. Whew. All right, I got that Instacart knocked out. It took me like almost 30 minutes of shopping, man. That, uh, it was rough. It was like the first 10 items they didn't have. That, And I'm just like, oh my God. It's like a, I'm surprised it didn't take longer. It was probably 15 minutes of just texting the person about the first 10 items. So, yep. But yeah, 42 minutes. I got all the stuff in the car. The first drop off is like, two minutes up the road and that's the one that's gonna pay me good I don't even know where the other one is cuz I had to accept this order cuz it's so slow it's 11 o'clock I've only made 20 bucks I mean no, I haven't even made 20 bucks All right, I hope that y'all could see me drop that off. I don't know how good the camera angle was, but I've delivered to that lady a couple times now. She's very nice. And I like her because she texts you back if you got problems. All right, I got another Instacart. This one's super easy. I literally like drove back to Food Lion and parked my car. I've just been walking around. It's so nice out. And I'm calling it physical therapy. My ankle still hurts like shit, but I'm not making it more swollen. So I'm gonna keep going, pushing through the pain and I'll be back on my skateboard soon. All right, so that drop off was perfect. That customer came out when I rang the bell and they were like, thank you, that was fast. And she said she had her sick grandkids over she didn't have any food for him. So that's why she ordered like peanut butter and jelly sandwich and mac and cheese. Ah, it's another slow day, man. Nothing going on. I could go try to do DoorDash, but I just, I don't feel like sitting in a damn parking lot. It's not for me. All right, so yeah, that last Instacart took me 18 minutes to shop for it, go drop it off and drive back to Food Lion. And I was able to sign in on DoorDash and it says the subway right here is busy. So that maybe I'll get an order, maybe not. Maybe I could get a Dunkin'. You know, there are some possibilities, but it has just been so slow. Um, I'm not really too worried about it though, because in the next, 
like week or two i think it's, it might be two weeks but really soon the kids are going to go back to school and things get a lot more busy usually when that happens so you know ride the waves y'all ride the waves when the good ones come in man start paddling when the when there ain't you know when it's flat just chill that's all you can do all right the wave came in it's not the biggest wave but it's big enough that i'm gonna start paddling so i'm going to pick this uber up <laughs> riding this kind of wave is pretty cool because this wave you know brings me right over towards uh giant so you know we can maybe maybe nothing's going on at food line and if i'm over towards giant i'll get an instacart you never know you gotta take the gamble sometimes all right i was extremely worried the, <laughs> about this mcdonald's order the line was like wrapped around the damn building but they had it ready in like a minute or two so all good gonna go drop this joint off and then i'm gonna get like this 80 dollar instacart i can just feel it it's coming Yo, freaking Uber got me weird, feeling weird, feeling weird. I don't know, like, all right, so I dropped off that McDonald's order and they immediately sent me this one. And like, I'm far as shit from Safeway, but I'm gonna do it cause it's slow and this order will be super easy. And it leaves me near the rest of the restaurants. So th this is a good one. List of items and it's like some candy, some cheese and it's easy four items gonna be super easy and I cut like two miles off the distance because it wanted me to go down the highway which probably would have actually been faster but I don't feel like going down the highway I'm just gonna go the way that's a couple miles shorter all right so that uber was awesome that probably took me like three minutes to shop and uh the only thing that would have made it better is if the Starbucks at Safeway had some free samples out that would have been nice all right, so that Uber, that was a good order, along with the uh, that Instacart, because that one Instacart took me 18 minutes, like I said, then the Uber probably took me another 15. I, I'd say that took me a little more than an hour and I made more than 40 bucks, which almost doubled my earnings for the day. So part of me wants to drive back out to the shopping center because it's lunchtime, but then the other part of me is like, you're just gonna sit there and you're gonna get mad about declining orders so because i'm about i could drive home or i could drive to the shopping center and it's about the same distance so i'm going home all right so coming back towards food lion my house paid off as soon as i pulled into food lion um i got this doordash and i know that shit's not going to be ready because i'm sitting in the parking lot and i got it so well wait a minute to drive over there but yeah this is a super easy order and it's a lot of items but i think it was only six bucks so maybe hidden tip but probably not all right i got the subway picked up this one's gonna take me like five minutes ten minutes because it took five minutes in subway but super easy order and if i got an instacart while i'm waiting or dropping this off i'll still do it in fact uber sent me one that looked okay it was like nine bucks for five miles, but I don't know. That, and it was at Popeyes, and I've not had good luck at Popeyes. They take forever. All right, so I'm here eating my lunch, and uh, that last Instacart I did, they raised the tip, because I was so fast, like lightning. Them kids were hungry and they're sick and they got their peanut butter and jelly and mac and cheese lickety split. All right, so I got this Instacart. It went pretty freaking smooth. Uh, I took a screenshot of how long it took me to shop and it's been 18 minutes since I, uh, whatever, it took me 18 minutes to get it in the car, check it out, everything, you know, and I'm already like at the first drop off second drop off it's a shot down the back roads then we go make our way back to food line to get ready for the next one i had to double check the address on this one because this is in the, the neighborhood this is like 
couple buildings over from the person who tip baited me, that miserable human being that, you know, it'd be a shame if something happened to. Yeah, the way that I know, sorry about this camera angle, maybe I'll just use the audio. The way that I know this was a good Instacart is there was three different things in like the tampon pad section and one of them I got second try, but the other ones I got first try. And whenever you get, well, for me being a dude, when you get those first try, that is, that's like the best feeling shopping. All right, so that was awesome. The first customer tipped me two dollars. I just, I just gotta not look at the breakdown on pay because it's usually upsetting, you know. These apps gotta trick you into delivering these to these people who don't hardly tip. But you know, that's that's how the apps are. Uh, that's their strategy. You know, says drivers, we gotta have our strategies because the reality of the situation is. You know, the apps and us who work the apps have different, you know, goals. We're, we're trying to achieve different things. You know, the apps want to make as much money out of us as they can for, you know, whatever, per mile, however they can do it. They want to get the most out of us that they can. And we want to get the most out of the apps that we can. So it's always going to be battling between the two. Driving away with the groceries 15 minutes after leaving my house. It sucks that this order is going far, but I'm getting some banging gas mileage at least. And it's been so damn slow that like, if I want to hit $200, which is my goal, and I wanted to hit $200 yesterday and I didn't hit it, but really it's not that important this week because my ankle hurts, so I'm not going to go sit at the skate park all day on Saturday and Sunday like I normally do. So if I don't make as much on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's not as big of a deal. So I just got a notification for a $54 order at Wegmans, but Instacart is such a like, giveth and taketh away. Literally before I could even touch the notification on my screen to open the app, it was gone. So they let me see that someone else got it. So that's cool. Man, I just saw this Instacart. Ah, it's two good orders. I even hit accept and got a screenshot on this one. So, I don't know. It was going on the military base. So, I'll just pretend I didn't want to do it. Even though I want that $47. Alright, so I got this DoorDash. It's definitely, uh, I mean, it's not a bad order. It leaves me around giant. And I don't even know if I have Uber turned on. I haven't heard anything. I'm, I've been turning Uber off because it's just an annoyance. That's all it is. And this person just got cornbread. Like, what, what are these people thinking? Like, co that just cornbread? This has got to be a lot of base pay. There is no way that with my low acceptance rate, this just being cornbread, this has like $2 tip written all over it. All right, so just like I said, $8.75 in base pay, $2.50 in tip. And they had food, it looked like from a Chinese spot, something, but I don't know why DoorDash didn't have whoever delivered the other order deliver them both, but whatever, that's how DoorDash does it. All right, so I don't really remember all the Instacarts I did, but I think that was the best one I did all day. That one was so easy. Hold on, let me see how long it took. 18 minutes, so, and that's from leaving my house, shopping for it and dropping it off. And I'm like five, five minutes up the road at most from my house, so. That's a beautiful order. I can sign in on DoorDash in a couple minutes. I think I'll play DoorDash for an hour or so. See if I can get closer to that $200 goal. And then I'm going for a bike ride before it gets dark. All right, I just played DoorDash. Like I was saying, you know, you gotta use the system the way you want it when you can, because they're definitely gonna use you the way they want. 
So uh, they sent me this order and uh -uh, not doing that. And then immediately after that one, they sent me this one where it has the first order plus this other one that is close. And if my calculations are right, it should be like eight bucks for the one that only goes like two miles. So I'm a gambling man and I went for it and I dropped the other one. So we'll see how it turns out. All right, DoorDash didn't show the payout screen. I don't know what it is, but like this neighborhood, it's only like a mile and a half, two miles up the road from my house, but there's no service. Every, every time, like every order I do has a hard time uh, finishing. So it never showed me the payout screen, but I got 875. So that was way better than driving the rest of the way to make the extra seven bucks or whatever. It wouldn't have been terrible. I just don't feel like doing it right now. And the last Instacart I did, the customer raised the tip by $2 and they favorited me or whatever. So now I have 14 people who have favorited me and I am yet to have one of these orders pop up where it's like auto scheduled or whatever. I guess the customers don't know how to use it or uh, I don't know, they're not ordering, one of the two. All right, I got this Mama Roma's order and it was a pretty good one. And then when I'm standing there waiting to get the food in Mama Roma's, they sent, stacked it with another one, which is an even better order. And I'm just thinking about how I only have 28% uh, acceptance rate. And uh, yeah, doesn't seem to matter to me anymore. I'm caring about that stuff is stupid. All right, let's get these dropped off. It's your bag, boy. Come here. Is this here before? Maybe. I don't, I don't know. know if you've delivered here before. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe one other time. <laughs> Have a Thank good evening. You, like, I do remember I delivered to that lady's house one time, but I don't know. That's weird. Never had anyone ask me if I've delivered to them before. I didn't get any drop-off action because they had their screen door open, and I, I don't know. I felt weird. There was dogs barking. It was a sketchy situation. But anyway, hidden tip, 28% acceptance rate. There's a glitch, apparently, that you can raise your acceptance rate. Like, what? What? Anyway, I don't know how much money I'm at now. All I know is my bike is at home, and if I don't get home and go ride my bike, it is going to be so mad at me, so I got to do that. Um, yeah, I really appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate everyone who's hit the subscribe button to get me to 1,000 subscribers. Uh, I'll put the totals in the thing so you know what the, the deal is with that. And, uh, yeah, if you haven't already and you're here watching right now, Hit the subscribe button it don't cost you nothing and youtube's still going to show you the videos you want to watch and if it's not mine that's just the way she goes but i'd really appreciate it if you hit this subscribe button or if you watch the suggested video or if you don't feel like doing that crap or you know you've already done it you already know the deal just watch a video tonight tonight tomorrow 9 p.m any night Sorry, I'm just thinking about this bike ride and my car smells like pizza and it is not fair. I'm so hungry. Peace.